some cereal. Let me hear your crackle pop. Your crackle pop. Let me hear your crackle pop. Wanna eat cereal? Cereal. I wanna eat cereal. Let's eat some cereal. Let me hear your crackle pop. Your crackle pop. Let me hear your crackle pop. <laughs> I uh, I didn't see you there. Welcome, cereal lovers, to another cereal review. I am your host and palette guide, Professor Cereal Doctor, reporting from the Jean Le Foot Memorial Library in the heart of the cereal laboratory. As any cerealist worth his spoon will tell you, one of the great joys in life is Discovering a cereal that you know literally nothing about. And being back in the cereal laboratory, I'm able to really plug into the cutting edge of cereals that I would normally have little access to. So, today, we'll be looking at... Shopkins QTO Cereal by Kellogg's. Now... Much like C-3PO's, Urkelo's, and M.A.S.H., the cereal, Shopkins follows in the grand tradition of serializing intellectual property. People are naturally drawn to cereals that are associated with their favorite TV star, cartoon character, action figure, and humble YouTube host. So it, it makes sense that Shopkins entered this lucrative expansion of their portfolio. But what are Shopkins? I have no idea. But thanks to the connections afforded to me by the Serial Laboratory, I have reached out to an expert in all things Shopkins, Dr. Bella Bayer, a professor of anthropomorphology at the University of Cucamonga State, Walla Walla campus. Let's get this going. Hello, Dr. Bella. Uh, can you hear me? I'm Zooming you. Spencer, it's, it's not working. I did hit the speaker button. Now my screen is being shared. Can you just come over here? Hi, Dr. Cereal. That's, uh, Professor Cereal Doctor. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on Cereal Box. How are you doing today? Good. Are you ready to have a conversation about Shopkins? Yeah. My first question for you is, what are Shopkins? They that look like this and um they are like some they could be like supplies like shoes um or they could be food like this or they could be a big container like this or this or this they could be basically anything and sometimes they come in little boxes like this you mentioned some of them are food. Do you eat them? No. Um, like, like, some of them are like food, like toys that shape like food like this. What do you uh, do with Shopkins? You play with them, mostly. And what, what makes Shopkins uh, fun? I think it's because they're so cute, but I don't know. Ah, it is a mystery that holds the heart. And uh, how many Shopkins are there? I don't know. A hmm. hundred? Dr. Bella, who makes Shopkins? A uh, moose. A moose? How, how unexpected, how delightful. No, moose toys. So it's not an actual moose. It's, it's just a company called Moose Toys. 
I see. Who purchases Shopkins? Everyone, mostly. Have you ever tried Shopkins cereal before? No, never. Hmm. I have mine. It smells a little like candy. I'm gonna get red sauce and then the green because I'm not sure about the green. Do the red pieces taste different from the uh, green pieces? Hmm. They taste the same. Oh. It tastes like Fruity Loops. Uh, can you introduce your assistant? That's my brother, Ali. And he is very noisy, and he's kind of annoying, and he's nice. And what do you think of the cereal, Avi? Yummy. Did you know that when I was a lad, toys used to come in boxes of cereal? Have you ever found a toy inside a box of cereal before? Mm. Um, I think maybe I knew about that, but no, I have never had my toy came in a box of cereal. Would you be excited if a toy were included inside a box of cereal? Yeah. If you were to go to your local supermarket, and you saw on the box that there was a Shopkins inside. What would you say to your mother or our pair? Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Is there anything else to add about Shopkins Cutio's cereal? Yes, actually. It looks pretty cute. And I love how there's lots of games on the back, oh. on the back of the Cereal. On behalf of myself and my many, many fans, I thank you for lending us your time and your expertise. Thank you! Now, let's examine the box. The front of the box is one of the busiest boxes I've ever seen. Uh, on the very uh, top, just below the new in the Kellogg's, we have Shopkins. And right underneath that, there's, I guess, the Shopkins slogan. It reads, once you shop, you can stop. And I really like this. I love that it sings the praise of unfettered capitalism. Good job. Underneath that, it says uh, apple, strawberry, I suppose that's going to be the flavors, and cutios. And I thought that this was called, uh, it, when I first looked at it, Shopkins cereal. But it's not. It's called cutios. And I have to say, that this is the smallest font for uh, the name of the product that I've ever seen on a cereal. The name of the cereal is almost an, an afterthought. They don't really care what it's called. They, and probably the buyers of this product, only care that it is Shopkins. Behind uh, all of the action is some very bright pink uh, colors, and in the foreground are these two uh, characters uh, based on the flavors. I, I take it that they're supposed to be a strawberry, who in my opinion looks a little bit whorish, uh, but you know, to each their own, and uh, the apple. And the apple I actually have more of a problem with than the strawberry, because there's actually a third character listed uh, on this box, and that is this worm that is coming out of the apple's skull. Now, I uh, 
am not usually a fan of uh, anthropomorphizing the uh, foods that you are about to uh, consume. Uh, it's kind of like uh, giving a name to your ham sandwich. Uh, but if this were the characters that I'm about to eat, I certainly don't want there to be a worm in there. Um, although I'm sh I, I do give them credit for uh, trying to push a little bit of protein into a child's diet. At the very bottom of the box, we have the bowl of cereal, and we have, of course, the expected jumping milk. It's so excited. It's jumping out of the bowl. And in addition to that, we also have jumping cereal. So here's a bit of an insider scoop. The way that they do this is they actually uh, detonate a small explosive underneath the cereal, and they only have one shot to get it. The side on the side, there's more of this bright pink color, and uh, they have these two characters, the same characters that are on the front, and it's telling you to uh, cut the characters out for uh, later play. And that brings us to the back of the box. And in the back of the box, there are uh, different assorted games that, uh, that a child uh, can play. Uh, there's a maze, a connect the dots, um, and there is a, uh, a joke. It says laughs and giggles, actually laughs uh, plus giggles, because it's also a math problem. And uh, the, the joke uh, is as follows. What is the best thing to put in a donut? <laughs> no, Spencer, no! That's disgusting! Oh. The answer is... Your teeth. Now, one of the uh, other interesting things about this this box is, it says collect all three play scenes, and much like the medicine I have to take every few hours, um, there is a peel away back with more information. By Jove, there is a scene that I suppose you can put the, the cutout characters into. And you can see that it's a, a Shopkins kind of European style village uh, with a uh, village square with a fountain. And um, it's fairly empty. That's uh, to be expected given uh, these current times. Even I would even say that the, the characters that are, are currently here uh, should probably go home and I am not seeing any masks. Uh, the other thing that I'd like to point out is that the characters that you've cut out are actually in the scene already, so they seem a little bit redundant. There is a third character, a butt emoji, um, but uh, yeah, I I don't know why they put these characters here. There's no there's no play value in having. The same character show up twice. Now, there are some other interesting things I've noticed. You can, like, open up uh, doors. Um, yes, here we are. Yeah, you can open up the doors, and sure enough, inside is the cereal. Um, so, uh, they are well stocked for the pandemic. And uh, then on the the side, final side, there is the nutritional information. Um, you know, it's a, it's a kid's cereal. Nobody really cares about that. So that's, uh, that's it. Let's open this sucker up. The opening of the box. Now, I'll tell you, it's a fairly obvious in my mind what this 
is going to taste like. And I think it's going to be very, very, very similar, just in terms of the look of it, uh, to Apple Jacks. Hmm, interesting. It is uh, quite a bit stronger than, than Apple Jacks. It's quite a bit sweeter in smell. If my... If my memory serves, the loops are quite a bit smaller than uh, Apple Jacks. I would say that they are somewhere in between ah, the size of a Cheerio and the size of a Fruit Loop. But I'm looking forward to giving this a try. This is not an wholly unpleasant cereal. I would actually say it's fairly good. It's very sweet. Um, the sweetness goes away after the first couple of bites. It is similar to an Apple Jacks and to a Fruit Loops. And I would actually say it's closer in taste to Fruit Loops than Apple Jacks. So I believe Dr. Bella, once again, was correct in her uh, assessment. The adding of the milk. Bleh. Classy. I'm wondering if this milk will uh, cut a little bit of the sweetness like um, like it does with many cereals. Oh. Nope. Still very sweet. I would say um, this cereal may even be a little too sweet for my taste, um, but again, I doubt that this cereal was made for, um, uh, for cerealists uh, such as myself. I think that they were made for a younger audience and they um, enjoy uh, uh, foods that are as sweet as they can be. So, final thoughts. As a cereal, it's fine. Um, it's a little bit too sweet for my taste, uh, but again, it's probably not for adult cerealists like myself. It's for uh, little children that are Shopkin fans. But we all know that Shopkins QTOs, it's not about the cereal. It's about the brand. And that makes me feel like they are missing a golden opportunity. Back in my day, cereal used to come with toys inside. I know that times have changed and, uh, Companies don't generally uh, uh, employ that practice anymore. But Shopkins could so easily bring it back. They are a toy company. They make little figurines in the exact same size as you used to get in a box of cereal such as this. And the fact that they only give you little cardboard cutouts that are are not even necessary in the in the play area that that they've designed it just seems like they've given no real thought to it and it's such an easy thing to do you put the toy in the box and kids will buy the box i know that that may seem like you're giving away your product but it doesn't necessarily have to be that way it's a way of getting kids into your product. It comes with the toy and then they can go to their uh, toy aisles of your local store and get others. Uh, it could be that the only toys that are included are the, the strawberry and the apple and maybe the worm. Um, and then they realize how fun the toy is and they get all the other uh, freakish characters. 
So, my final thoughts on Shopkins is, you're doing it wrong. So there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, dissection of this serial, and that you will join us again for our next. Until then, I will see you in your cereal bowl. Good day.